I'm trying to save. I have my body that I can recover there. I think you get full life after you recover the body, right? Not like a little mortal shell like. So I wanted to kind of get a bunch of hits on him first. Death. At least it's a fast run back. I don't think the big weapon is for me. Wow, he like, kills me instantaneously. <clears throat> that's the cool thing about these type of games though. Like that's not even like the way I have to go. I don't think I can go a whole different way if I get stuck here. I lose my ability to dodge so quickly. Yeah. Oh, you jerk. Not timing the absorb. <clears throat> If he keeps killing you, maybe that's not the way you're supposed to go yet. Yeah, there's no supposed to go in this game. It's like Hollow Knight. You can go different ways. Some will be easier than others. If I get to a point where I want to try something different, I can do that. I don't have to keep banging my head on this guy. My issue is stamina. Most of the time I'm trying to dodge and I have zero stamina left after, swick uh, after swinging. It's quite Hollow Knight-ish, it is. Like th this map, very much reminiscent. And the fact that you have to find beacons in order to unveil the map to the next zone, right? And the beacons in the other game was the map seller in Hollow Knight. Thank you for giving me 16 damage. Can I? There we go. That's the absorb. <clears throat> I was able to do it once, so we know it's possible, but I don't know if I have enough uh, beef. Two, 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 three hits, he kills me, so. We'd have to be flawless. misjudge that all the time. <laughs> Where did that hit him? Come here. Dead. Yeah, he's too tough. He's... I'm barely denting that guy. Alright, let's go the other way. <clears throat> We did get the glaive if we decide to uh, spend some points for decks. Um, do I have objects?
that will give me more mass. This reduces incoming damage by 15%. That's a grenade. Yeah, I don't have any. All right, let's go this way. Something up here? This is where we came from. All right, let's go this way. With the faces in the background. Here we go. We need four more wretches to unlock any possible talents from them. There's another wretch over here. Okay. Three more wretches. Must take forever to break. Are they worth? Is it worth it? Nine one. We are at nine eleven. That only gives you three. Yeah, probably not worth it so super much. Then we got these guys. I wonder if there's a better way to handle them. All right, two more wretches. strategy here besides use daggers well, that's the only strategy I know not worth it if they take make several hits yeah I mean we used a lot of daggers just for those two you're right So we should be able to zip through there. Oh, I threw it back. I didn't intend to do it, but it was awesome. Okay, guys, guys. All right, seven of eight wretches. That's how we could have gotten the little dork before. I didn't even realize. Ardent sand plus one, okay. And another nail. Okay, so we have to go over here. Zip here. Nope. Go over here. Jump. There we go. Blood metal splinter for upgrading weapons later whenever we are able to find someone to do that. Oh, we got one of those claw guys down there. That didn't work. That just hurt real bad. I'm 
boulder plate chest new armor of course we have no no indication whether this is better for us or not but we've got it it's boulder plate it's got to be good those guys and my boulder plate didn't protect me we were all the way over there Jeebus what all right try that one more time Oh, the prey hunt is complete. All right, let's go see what that does. I think we got a different prey hunt done too. Let's see what kind of passive we can get. All right, wretch. Damage done is increased by 15% while at or above. Oh, you need to have a high uh, ardor score. In the fledgling year. Increases damage done by 50% for 15 seconds after repelling an attack. Can stack up to three times, but buff is lost upon taking damage. And that requires two thingies. Wow. All right. I guess we could try this one. We got to get our ardor up. We got to stop having these series of unfortunate events happening to us. According to the Grime Twitter, it looks as if armor is cosmetic. Dress for the occasion with cosmetic armor pieces that you can mix and match to your preference. Kill him with style. Oh, okay. So, you know what's funny? Dark Souls in those type of games has stats on their gear. And it's largely, though, for cosmetic, right? Sometimes you have a set that will help you resist magic or poison or something like that. But yeah. Okay. So if it's just cosmetic, I want to be the blue man group. I like that better. So I don't need to get these guys absorbed anymore. Oh. Oh boy. Sand, nail. All right. Got him. All right. One more claw hound. We can get the claw hound trade. I don't want to come down here with these explodey dudes.
Hey, Strange Shade, does, uh, does the Grime Twitter have anything about those explodey balls? <laughs> Things really did escalate there, yeah. Nope, sorry. Oh, damn. <laughs> explodey balls are my new nemesis. Can you absorb them if timed right? I don't... I don't think I, I think I've tried. I mean, here, here we go. Okay, I hit him once. No. Tried to hit it. What if I just smack them now? All right, so you really just have to smack them before they blow up. That seems to be the way. Isn't much out there for strategy. Yeah, no, I get it. It's only a couple hours old. I love that. Doggo to the left. Over here. Oh, you're right. We definitely want to. Prey hunt complete. All right, so next time we get to a surrogate, we have to see what power that was. Oh, that was great. The environment got that guy. Beautiful. Oh, nice. I just play pinball with my body. Okay, so the claw hound dashing leaves behind an echo for a short time. You restore 15% of total force if the echo is damaged. Hmm, interesting. I don't have the stuff for that, but there you go. You've been trying to think of what this game reminds you of. It looks a lot like a, a more 3D Dead Cells. The main character even has a similar design to it. Um, the actual style of the game reminds me a little bit of Mortal Shell. Um, but definitely, I don't know if you've even seen the map. We've got, uh, we've got Hollow Knight vibes. And we've even seen places that we can't get to because we don't have like the right power or the right weapon or something. And then it definitely has Dark Souls, weapon scaling, stats, collecting mass, kind of stuff. They've made some interesting changes. Like for example, you don't lose mass on death, but you have a new stat called, uh, what's it called, Ardor. Ardor, which is in the top left where I have zero, and it increases how quickly you get the level up juice. This stuff. I just used something. Um, and that's what resets when you die. Let me go in here and see if we can level up. Yeah, so Dead Cells is more, yeah, Dead Cells is more uh, fast paced and this is more stamina based, yeah. Yeah, you meant more visually. I get you. All right, I guess we should give ourselves a couple of dex points. 
or a one dex point. So we have a couple dex weapons. I wonder if we'll ever be able to reset these. Now the doggy guys, we unlocked in the, we don't, do I need to kill another doggy guy? No. That's also another interesting mechanic is the fact that, yeah, you can just kill enemies, but if you want to unlock their traits, you have to absorb them by parrying. It's a bit, it's a bit like Salvador Dali art. Not enough uh, melting watches. There you go. Hey, you like them apples. Okay, what's this? Volatile blob. So this unlocks our map for this area. The unformed desert. Oh no, what is this thing? goodness oh I guess I hit it I touched it did it just throw its own eyes at you I think so but a lot more dangerous than the eyes I had normally encountered. <laughs> oh, man. So how far away is that thing? It's pretty far. Yeah, he got to grow them back and then throw them at me again. You're right.
How did I even get over there? Multiple ways to go. Oh my god. Hey, Soulburn, what's up? How you enjoying the game? It's fun. Challenging. I'm getting my butt kicked. The first, uh, first hour, hour and a half, I felt really confident and good. This second, this second biome, been kicking my butt. You know some of the devs? Oh, nice. Where are they based out of, Soulburn? The folks at, uh, Cloverbite? Israel. Oh, okay, nice. Get out of here. Kill me again. Nice. Alright, so then we head down. Funny, the first time you went to this channel, you I was playing Ori, which you also, people you know, oh, nice. So how do you have, uh, uh oh, this is the guy we were trying to beat. How do you uh, know so fo many folks that make games? Please don't kill me. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Too early. I want to absorb them. I don't know if it matters. Yeah. We have a small scene so people know. Are you? Do you live in Israel? I'm assuming. Oh, indeed you do. Oh, nice. I never knew that. Kelwin. We could actually stay up here. Another volatile blob. Hey! I'm just trying going a different way. Give me a hidden room with nothing in it. I call shenanigans. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. A new surrogate. All right, so we should have gotten that a while ago. So this is where we respawn monsters, but also can level up. What do you think? Should I gain a couple decks and so, so we can try out these new weapons? 
I hope at some point we can refresh all this. I think we should go more health. For now. Okay, there we go. Look. That last quake was different, and that watcher hardly watches for anything anymore. Shidra will not be pleased. <laughs> oh, why, hello there. Oh, world's breath. What was that? Did you? Did you see that? We nearly got crushed. Oh my, oh my, I hate the side. How could anyone get used to the sky constantly falling down? It's fine. I'm fine. Now. How can I help you? A carvin, I presume. Here to collect and trade as well, no doubt? Well, I supposedly I could offer you the same terms of trade your kind would get in the world pillar. Here, have a look. Ooh, a merchant. Listen, trade. The claw! It needs three decks to wield. Uh, can be used to grab and lift vulnerable prey upwards along with yourself. And we got the Maul Sword. That's a dex weapon. It requires four decks. Everything's decks. It requires four decks and two of the magic stuff. Capable of throwing. Okay. Interesting. You don't, you don't like investing skills without respecting? What if I make a mistake? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just winging it at this point. There may be a way later on to reset your points. I just don't know how to do it. How would one get up here? It's gotta be like higher jump or double jump at some point, right? here this is new new is good there must be soul burn that skill sucks yeah we do have a black hole head We're walking on the helping hands. We are helping. We're helping hands. Up or down. Oh no. Oh crap. Healing. Did I already suck most of those creatures? I did. Yeah. I didn't I haven't I haven't absorbed this guy yet. And he just kicks my butt every time we face him. Yeah, so he just destroys me. But we should be closer now. Actually hit me? What? Oh wow. I had to heal already. Oh. 
Grow back. Did I play finish Dark Souls? Yes. All Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, all of them. Very excited for Elden Ring. Hey. I don't need to fight you. We don't need to be enemies. But apparently I need to take damage. Lots of damage before I fight. Can I try this guy with full health once? Hitting the wrong button for absorb. That's my issue. Tissue. And there we go. There's new Mortal Shell content too. Yeah, that's later in August. <clears throat> it's gonna, they're gonna have a new shell. It's, which is basically like a new skin with new set of abilities and a roguelike mode. As well. All right. One of these times we're going to get there and actually not have to use our heal. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Didn't even get to use my heal. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Soulburn, about the difficulty of the front software games. Um, patience. If you, um... If you're someone like me and not, like, insanely skillful, um, and you have a ton of patience and you persevere, you can get through those games. Uh, but I would never call them not difficult. Okay. Well. All right, we got his hunt point. Nice. New prey found. Volatile blob. Finally beat that guy.
I don't know if I should be going down here or not. Hello. It's getting closer. At times, I can almost hear it again. The weeping. Evil not. It is still too far away. Below even this place. This dark, sad place. Mm. Merciful oh, no. Shidra. Those poor beings. Doomed by the ground they form from. If only we could all weep. Sweet. All together now. Burst lantern. Okay. That's a weapon. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know what I want to do. Oh, X. Applies burst stacks to pray each stack increases the damage dealt when the stacks are detonated special attack detonate all burst stacks damage increase significantly with higher stacks what That weapon is odd. Okay, so applies burst stacks to prey. Each stack increases damage dealt when the stacks are detonated. And then you can use your special to detonate it. Okay. Oh, great. We're in a place called Gloom Nest. What was the spidery place called? In Hollow Knight. Oh, that did a lot of damage. All right, please. Can I not absorb him? No! I did not expect a red attack there. Was it Deep Nest? Oh, I think it was Deep Nest. I think you're right. Damn it. I will say one thing. There, there's a whole mechanic in this game where you have to absorb creatures to unlock their traits. And like, I die so much on a new creatures just because I want to try to absorb them. Because then you can unlock these traits down here. Like that's that's pretty pretty consistently the way I die. All right, let's get back there. So how the hell does this thing work? So I detonated them. Okay. So I can give him stacks. He's up to eight stacks. Nine, ten. Is ten the max? Eleven. What's the max? This game is you die and you learn. Thirteen stacks, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. Twenty-four. Alright, here we go. That did three hundred and fifteen damage when we stacked it up that high. Alright, so how many stacks can it go? Thirty stacks. Okay. Wow. This is such a weird weapon. 